Okay, all right guys, I'm back with the the GoPro unicorn setup. Anyway, only reason I'm making this video is basically to test this camera. And the main reason I'm out here today is I wanna check this block. I haven't done anything on this since my last video. I've been kind of busy. But uh, what I wanna check today is I've been reading online that the pistons I bought possibly will uh, come in contact with the piston squirters. So you either have to modify the piston squirters or remove them and plug the ports. And that's got me real curious. That's something I didn't check when I was, when I uh, ordered the pistons or anything. So we're gonna mock up, I guess the number one, the number one cylinder over here with a piston rod combo and see if, uh, our piston squirters hit. So, I guess we'll start by uh, putting our piston squirter in. I got them over here. Here are these boogers. Yeah, there's a Corvette form. I was doing some reading, and uh, the guy was saying his piston squirters are hitting his, are hitting his pistons. So that ain't no good. That's something I didn't even think about. I know on a stroker they probably would, but I didn't think on a standard stroke it would, but he's claiming he had to bend his piston squirters to make them work. And if you've never, if you've never uh, felt one of these piston squirters, this doesn't feel like something that'll bend real easy. It feels like it'll snap off. So we're gonna mock it up here. Oh, uh, let's see. I've been using the trunk of this cutlass as my, my parts thing here. I got some extra plugs. These are two step colder than stock. This is part number if you can see them. I've already gapped them. 35 thousandths. All right. Here's our parts pile over here. Got our plugs. We got our just more ultra gray, two head gaskets. I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, main studs and uh, studs for the heads too. I decided to go ahead and do that. It's ex very expensive for those two parts, but oh well, might as well do it right. Some more Molly Lube. Uh, the rod bearings, Clevites, rods, comp stars, they're 6.1 inch. So they're two thousandths longer than stock. It's a part number if you need it, if you care. And then here are pistons down here. I don't know if you can see the stock number, but there it is. So, oh yeah, and I got uh, an extra pulley. So we got, we can go anywhere from eight, which is the stock, which is not on there right now. So that's eight pounds, 10's on the truck, um, 12, and then 14. So, gonna need one of these things here. A lot of parts here, I know that. And these beauties, I've already started measuring a lot of stuff. I got the journals on the crankshaft uh, measured, both main and rod. They're all, eh, the mains were within one ten thousandth, but the, the rods, one of them's off four ten thousandths, the other one's off six. Not a big deal, it needs it. I'll explain that in another video. They're pretty tight from the factory from what I can gather. I've already weighed all the pistons. Did that too. They're all within one gram. Right out of the box, so yeah. Need that. And we're gonna need those are rings. Here piston pins down here in the bottom. I hope they don't hit those squirters. I just don't feel like bending it. I just don't trust bending that, that uh, piston squirter. All right. Now we gotta pull the cap. 
the deal over here. I've already loosened this cap. Don't think I'm that strong. They come torqued from the factory in the box. So if uh, you don't have a, a rod vise, what you can do or what I did, because these things are, like I said, torqued at whatever they come from from the factory. You ain't not gonna do it by hand. Just get two pieces of wood, two two by fours, and uh, just clamp it, C clamp it. It'll give you plenty of leverage to break it, break it loose. I hope this, I hope this thing uh, doesn't hit. Oh, and I found my, uh, my piston, I mean my cam bearing tool. Although I think I've decided against changing out the cam bearing. I know that rear one's kind of cocked, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I think you would be uh, running a bigger risk by, by, uh, <coughs> Lordy. By trying to uh, change it, I'm just gonna leave it. All right. Now, I think we can get away with just putting in the upper bearing just for mock up reasons. So. Now, uh, one thing about these rod bearings, at least on the LS platform, there's an upper and a lower, and it'll tell you, and this is the upper part, the cap is the lower. Right here it says upper, so this is the one that goes in the, in the rod itself. Tell you what, let's let's uh drop the crank in first. Gonna have to lube these things up again. All this, and I'm just going to take it back apart again. But uh, that's all right. Um, uh, I think I mentioned, I don't know, I mentioned before I started measuring. Well, I told you all that. But uh, let's go ahead and drop this crank in. This camera's working. All right. Let's see if I can't get a visual of this. Number one, the fillet is going to have to go that way. You know, you always want your chamfered into this side over here. And then our piston should be pretty easy. 
spark plugs in the bottom so it'll go like that so we need it like this all right here's the moment of truth is that right no that's not right yeah it is all right let's see here please don't hit just barely but it doesn't hit no this must be clearance they must have clearanced them yeah it, hit, it doesn't hit at all but boy it's close in fact I really can't see no nah, it's not even close it's probably a good eighth inch yeah all right well that's good news. Don't have to worry about that. Okay. All right. Good enough. All right. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully, uh, can get back on this thing. I'm going to get the, since I got it flipped over and everything, I'm going to go ahead and measure the, the uh, main bearings. is heavy. Alright guys, get with y'all later.